Hello, this is David Taylor at Web Media in Chester with this week's Online Marketing Secrets. And today I want to talk about geotagging content on your website. Now just to give you some idea what this means, geotagging is the practice of associating precise geo coordinates with web pages or other content. And it's been around for a while and has seen increasing popularity with photo sharing sites like Flickr. Uh, it's, uh, it's something that's pretty interesting and leading edge for any business that is relying on a local market and uh, cares about local search engine optimization on search engines like Google and Yahoo. So what I've got here is my own site, an example of a blog post. And you can see the, the standard blog post information at the top of the page here. But as I scroll down, you can see something new in the center here called Geotag. And what this is telling um, search engines is that this blog post originated in a very specific geographic location. And the way that you tell the search engines exactly where this content originates is through the latitude and longitude re readings of where you are. So you might wonder, well, how do I find out where my I am in terms of latitude and longitude? Well, you go to a site like this one, latlong.net. And if you go there, you'll see a pretty standard Google map. And on the left hand column here, you'll see a latitude and a longitude reading. And you can basically do a search, first of all, for the town that you live in. And then you can specifically mark on the map where you want people to know the contents originating. And you get two readings. Once you've got the latitude and the longitude reading, make a note of them. And then you can go back. And every time you produce a new web page uh, on your, in this case, WordPress site or a, uh, a blog post, you put in the latitude and the longitude and search engines can know exactly where that content's coming from. Now that has got to help if you are a business that is appealing to a local market and a local audience. If you're a restaurant, for example, or a retailer. So I think this is something to really keep an eye on and really try out and see how it may benefit your uh, visibility for local search results. Um, this of course is a WordPress plugin um, and the plugin is actually called GeoTag. So if you go to plugins and add new and do a search for GeoTag, I'll just go there, GeoTag, search plugins, you'll find the plugin right there. Now the same thing applies if you're not on, um, if you're not on a WordPress website, you can still apply uh, the same principles of geotagging geo your content. What you need to do in, in that case is uh, go onto Google and um, do a search for geotagging uh, web pages, geotagging web pages, and that yeah, you should find some resources there to uh, enable you to to do the same thing on your HTML pages. Specify your latitude and longitude on each piece of content that you create, so you can tell search engines exactly where you are. That's it for this week. Geotagging your content for local search SEO. Until next week, we'll have you. We wish you a good week, and we'll see you next time.